Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Yes! Oh, shit. Welcome to Drinking Bros. Dan, you were fucking late. I wasn't late. The plane was late, bitch. The plane was not late. Yeah, it Where was. were you sitting? Middle seat? Be no, honest. No, I would never sit in the middle seat. You were a fucking middle seat, dude. I'll get You're myself, a middle seater. No, I'll get myself kicked off the flight before I'll sit in the middle fucking seat. Fucking Dan Middle Seat Holloway, dude. You cannot get middle seats. They treat you like shit. No, when I get a the middle flights seat. flights are late. When I get a middle seat, I lie down lengthwise in everybody's lap. That's oh, what I do. I can't. It's a fart tube is all those goddamn things are. Yeah. we got an important guest here, yeah. and you're late. We've got Brian Brom in here. Welcome to the show. I appreciate that. Thank He's you. a Hulk of a man, and he just started freestyle rapping a minute ago. Fuck, <laughs> dude. Can you believe I that look shit? At you and I, you look like a character from Game of Thrones that I kind of want to fuck. Hey, like as know, a dude, whoa, you know, I'm just like, that, oh my god, whoa! That like, went, no, that, I don't, and I don't want to fuck I mean, dudes, but zero you zero to one hundred, real quick, real quick. Welcome to Drinking Bros. Hey, yeah. I appreciate it. You're a good looking <laughs> dude, though. Thank Jesus you. Christ! Yeah, I've been told that big pretty fierce with a battle axe. Yeah, yeah, you would in that fucking giant goddamn yeah, yeah. ring you're wearing. I don't want you anywhere around my girl. Is that a championship ring from the? Make Eagles? sure you're swinging this around a little bit. Would that fit on Big Dick Nicks? Hey, you know, I don't think so. I don't either. Fucking, there's a reason why they call him Big Dick. How much? He's a mammoth. How much do you think? Dick weighs in, in pounds. I, I would say 8.9. And that's 9 just off pounds? the top yeah. of my head. Eight, he's got an 8.9 pound dick, is what I think. Heavy. Jeremy Hills is on the show as well. <laughs> Welcome, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy was a fan favorite. You've been here before. Yeah. One of the top trainers at Onnit. Jeremy, how are you? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> You've been on the show before, so I don't know why you're fucking surprised. I don't know how yeah. you're surprised. Oh, you're Last right. time you're you were right. on the show, right afterwards, we had the guy who killed Bin Laden on. Yeah. Yep. I don't understand how you're shocked by any of this going you, on right yeah, now. Yeah, you're 100% right, actually. I'm also <laughs> pretty ahead. sure that we had a, a, a sex doll on the office that day, too. We did. Yeah, we did so have a sex doll in the office. Did I miss yeah. the sex doll? I think you, you did. Yeah. Is this the I think you like did. plastic sex doll, or is this the, like, the new ones that are like real human sex? So we got the new human one. The ones that are supposedly replacing real pussy correct oh, so Jesus. so he, here's the thing so we went Jesus. we went to japan we okay. got it it was about three thousand dollars it was a black friday deal so we got it the day after thanksgiving nice so we got like fourteen hundred off i but appreciate you got to it. pick two different heads two different eye colors <laughs> um one of them came with an australian hat that said good day mate okay so that way <laughs> you that's how like you were, tell it's from australia yeah, yeah. That, that way yeah. you felt like you were fucking somebody from a different country nice and then uh so she's uh, different outfits <laughs> And then eye colors and, and whatnot. So like, so what outfit did you pick? So we had a long debate about this. We got, yeah. we, got, we got to we, pick we two. We spent about three hours, like like you were fucking building a car on the fucking website. Dead uh-huh. serious. Yeah. So if you went to like a, to build your ultimate Jeep Wrangler, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how we built this sex doll. It took about an hour and a half. We ended up with a like a little crop top and okay. some like a jean skirt, like something fun and flirty. Okay, like maybe she just got out of school. But then we also went with something like for the nighttime, like a nice negligee. Uh, f- a French manicure. Okay. Yeah, that's a, yeah. But the, the whole problem thing. is the oh, nails, including the toenails, are super fucking creepy. Like the, the none of, none They're of the real. toes go in the right direction. Yeah, it's oh, that's oh, the one man. thing they haven't corrected. But they do have bones in them. So when you squeeze an arm or a leg, you can feel the bone in there. So that way you oh, feel that, like no, you're fucking uh, a real human. I'll be I'm going to take it a step further. There's a USB port that plugs into the vagina, so it warms it up for you. No swear way. to God. Yeah, this, no. this dude's getting That's hard. He's getting yeah, yeah, hard yeah. right now. I can tell. Welcome to the way. new age. I feel like Imagine Dragons. <laughs> oh, Welcome to the new age. No wonder Shit. he's yeah. talking about it replacing the real thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the ultimate, like the, the topper. You on don't this, have to fucking this. listen to it. Oh. You know? Like, Dude, what? Like, you don't have to listen to it. <laughs> it doesn't bitch. But here's the ultimate on this birthday cake is the, the, the person that was helping me pick it out was said, hey, do you want the one with a replaceable vagina for 300 more? And I was like, no. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the replaceable <laughs> vagina? You can dishwash one while you're using the other one. Yeah. So just in case you, can't you put fill that in one there with up, the dishes. you can dishwash You can't the other put that one. in there with the dishes. That's what I said. Not with the dishes, asshole. You I do got- it. After the dishes, well, after the dishes. I, just I wouldn't put them in the same time. time. I agree with that. Right. All right. Same. Thank you. And I got kids. Like, <laughs> I don't want that next to the sippy cup. <laughs> That's right. <You> <laughs> for the kid where it's just Imagine like, Imagine like, Daddy, what is this? Yeah. Oh, I'm you sorry. You know what it is, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your Iron Man sippy cup is right next to my pocket <laughs> vagina. <laughs> right. Just be real careful That's with terrible. that. Yeah. Mind your That's business. Terrible. I don't want that there. Yeah. We are live from Atlanta, Georgia, Super Bowl weekend. Brian, Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. Did not make it. That's okay. Wow, is dude. it? I mean, we got I, Freddie Mitchell over here too. He's all butthurt about it. Freddie so. Mitchell's watching from the side. Yeah, w- I was a free agent this year, so uh, you know it, it wasn't really any. But hair your off last my team back. was the Eagles. Do you still root for them? 
Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I've never really had a favorite team other really? than the team that I play for. Um, and I got good relationships with a lot of the guys that still play for the Philly. Um, obviously, you know, uh, there's nothing negative with, you know, the staff or, you know, the front office or anything like that. In case you guys are listening, uh, you know, I'd love to be able to come back and play for Philly. Yeah, yeah so you liked you know it that I mean? much. But, uh, yeah, no, it was great. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. Had a, a great time. A lot of great guys. Um, obviously you got a ring. Got some you got a fucking you got some hardware yeah, out of it. Um, so it's definitely it holds a, a a spot in my heart, very dear. Um, will for a long time, but uh, otherwise, you know, I'm I'm more disappointed that my guys couldn't make it again. Right. Uh, you know, my buddies and stuff like that. But uh, just like uh, any other football team, you know. You got guys like uh, New England. I got guys that I've played with and, and people that I'm friends with on there. So I'd like to see them win. Plus, you know, the, be a part of the history, you know, watching Tom Brady win that many. Sure. Um, and then same with L.A. You know, obviously, I got a lot of family and uh, friends that, you know, hold it. You look like a goddamn LA. movie star. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you do. I'll tell you that, you smooth son of a bitch. I think you, you know got a new streak the wall. There's, there's another career. Wade. Wait, where are you? I was trying to I was trying to work it out because if I could have played for LA, I feel like the transition into Hollywood would have been Yo, a lot. That's what Real LeBron's smooth. doing, guy. I feel it. I, LeBron's I feel in it. LA to fucking go into his strategic. production right. company afterwards. Strategic, right, for strategic, sure. By the way, so he is not there to win a championship. No, he doesn't. Give they a can't win with that, that roster unless they they somehow magically land no, AD. He's got his own production company. Oh, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, he's doing he's, Space Jam too. Right. He's got that series on HBO, and he just signed on for two other series. And it's like, all right, cool. He's thirty four. He's looking at the long game there. I don't think he gives a shit about another championship. And that's just being honest about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, when you're a couple hundred millionaire. I know, uh, right? I mean, you're not playing for the money anymore. No, you're, you've, got, you a, you've got a many, couple million, <laughs> though. I saw your last contract. Ah, jeez. You know, I wish the contracts were guaranteed because then you might actually see the entire contract. And, How crazy is that? Uh, it's a little disappointing, but, I mean, you know. It's the What's up the with the NFLPA, then? Uh, you, you know, they've actually done pretty good with uh, – preparing for the new negotiations that are coming up with the new collective bargaining agreement. Do you think there's so, going to be a work stoppage at all? Uh, I hope not. I, you know, Hopefully they can work it out. I can't see myself being able to play through that. Yeah, so. I mean, the NFL is the only major four that hasn't had a work stoppage in a while. In right? a long time, yeah. yeah it's it, been a while. The 80s was the last... Eleven. Yeah. Oh, was it 11? Yeah, but it was brief. Yeah. It was and very brief. It, it, it wasn't... The it one in the 80s, didn't... though, lasted during the season. Yeah, right. It, it wasn't like 94 with the season. Major League Baseball where they shut down half a season. And right, yeah, yeah. We didn't miss or, any of the regular season. The NHL is what two thousand five or six or something. I like believe that. so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't do you, like that. Do you train with Jeremy in the off season? Uh, I have actually. Yes, I do. And if I had any preference to train, it would be with Jeremy at all. Oh, I don't. For no, sure. I get don't, it. Don't make me blush. For sure. God, you were pretty, dude. I forgot how pretty you were last <laughs> he like, last time. I mean, he. I just brush my teeth every day. <laughs> is that, is that, is that's, <laughs> that's all it, it is. That's all it is. <laughs> you should tell our co-host Jared Taylor that guy doesn't <laughs> brush his teeth, but he just keeps pulling ass, and I'm like, yo. What are you doing? Your breath is terrible. He's yeah, funny, but he doesn't shower. It has to be his I've cologne. heard halitosis is, is a fetish, though. Uh, I've oh, heard that too. God, that's yeah, the worst. Yeah, that's worse than feet. That's man. People are into some weird shit. I have yeah. a buddy of mine was like, "Dude, I'm into shrimping." I had to Google that. I'm sorry. Can you what? tell me shrimping. what that is? Shrimping. 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 What is shrimping? Shrimping's toes. Like he sucks toes and all that other stuff. And so Who he'll go suck out toes, though? and what? physically look at restaurants. Like if a woman's got bad toes, like that is off his. He's done with it. So that doll that you were talking about with the fucked up toes, he couldn't a no do go. it. He couldn't fuck that. doll. He's like returning the whole thing. I sent him a picture of that doll, <laughs> even with the discount. Even with the discount. I don't even. I don't want the heads first. I yeah. want the legs first. You send me the legs and the feet, and then I'll decide if I want to order a three grand doll. And I so was he like, was disgusted. Disgusted. Like he would not fuck this doll, which I get it. I'm not gonna. Fu- I'm not gonna fuck the doll either. But okay. I mean, maybe in private, it's fine. It's fine. It was a little short for me. Yeah, I should. You, I, I should have ordered a taller doll. You should have got that extra my, large. Uh, that's you, my journey. You got I'm the, living my own life right you now. You got the medium. Yeah. Get the yeah. extra large. Yeah. So do you train with him in the off season? Yeah, we do. Whenever Brian's in Austin, he comes by the facility and. Uh, he cusses a lot, but I mean, he has. Have you heard this show? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, no, but but his is like anger. Like Ryan's mad at me. Like, yeah. like you know, like hey, you came here. Well, he's part Viking, clearly. No, so he's probably yeah, gonna murder that's, you that's, at some point and take all your shit. One thousand percent. Kill people, but I like to think I have a killer's mentality. Yeah, yeah you it's do. good. Yeah, I like to fair. think that you if, should, if you want to kill somebody, we can make that happen. Ah, uh, no, no, I've heard it's liberating. Hundreds of people. I've, I've heard it's very liberating, and you know, I've actually tried running through somebody's face so fucking hard. That he may not have ever played another down of football. So we have. Some, I thought he could have died. We have some. We have died. some buddies in some uh, countries where you can go hunt poachers. 
Yes. No way. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a bobble, actually, yeah. So they pay you, like, you, you can go pay to hunt poachers. Because yeah. if they kill rare animals in Africa and shit, they want those people gone. Right. So you can pay more money right. to kill the poachers. Yeah, government troops will escort you out there, and you can hunt poachers with This them. is 100% real, by yeah. the way. So you can, great. you can kill a human. I know. I want to fucking murder. <laughs> I've got a murder boner <laughs> right now. I'm telling you. That's all I keep thinking about is murder Half all day. Chub. This, 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 jealous of this, him. This is the beginning of The Purge. Yes. This is yes. how it starts. Yes. Well, this is how it starts. This is Ice tea movie? Yeah. Yeah. Where well, they were hunting that, him. That's like, what it was. Yeah. All right. Most, reverse uh, that. most it's dangerous coming. game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great movie. So... There's also a cruise line out of Qatar, I think, where you can go hunt Somali pirates, like from a cruise ship. From a cruise ship. Yeah. yeah. Be what joking the fuck is me. This? No. And you it can just say, I'm what I'm saying is it exists. Yeah. So is this legal because it's in the international waters or. Legal. Who gives I a mean, fuck about legal? Yeah. yeah. Dude? I, <laughs> Here's the thing. What's this yeah, guy right. talking about? If you're rich <laughs> enough, like let's say you had Fletcher Cox money, right? On the yeah. Eagles. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. You can murder and get away with it. Like it's That's totally terrible. fine. That no, is absolutely it's true. Terrible. If you look at it, hey, OJ history, got away with it. Yes. OJ's in jail. Or did no, he no, he's out. Oh, he's out. He's Again. living his best life in no, Vegas. This time he's broke. OJ though. went to jail for armed robbery for stealing his own T-shirts. Yes, from some not guy. for the murders. Yeah, it wasn't so for the murders. Let's go through the, the murders. That's right? not the Snoop smartest dog. thing he's ever done. One murder. You're hey. good to go. You're rich enough. You beat it. Ray Lewis. No, murder was the case that, that they, they gave, gave him, but but he did it. And I that's don't know. fine. I don't give a fuck. I All want right. murder too, dude. <laughs> I want one murder, brother. This is showbiz, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want a murder on my record. You're just jealous. You want to go fucking. You need uh, that one is one. You need that. I just rep. want one murder. Just get one. I, no, I don't want to tell anybody. Like, I just want to tell my buddies. Be like, hey, man. I'm mur- I'm you just want to go Beretta, though. Yeah, That's yeah, what like, you want to do. Almost like in a, in a loving way of like, hey, man, I'm murdered, too. Oh, you know, my. Like, hey, can you grab me a Hot Pocket? I'm murdered, too. I mean, like, I want to be on the same level as that. The problem is, is he's a, surrounded by us all the time, and we're yeah. all fucking, you know, sociopath murderers. So he, I think you feel left out. I feel left out. I feel like the redheaded stepchild. I want to murder, too. Oh, you know? my God. I'm just a comedian, but I can still murder. Look at these fucking guns, dude. I could choke somebody. I'm not going to lie, man. You put the little size on since the last time. Welcome, yes, welcome yeah. to On It, dude. You, I you started taking all the shit you you prescribed me you look good i'm jacked as fuck right now you look I feel good like i could punch a baby <laughs> that's how strong i feel right get, now get us a baby somebody get josh get us a baby grab me a, somebody under four years old i want to punch a baby right Let's now get, please give us uh, a baby no, but if we're going back to murders so snoop dogg one murder yeah uh ray lewis two murders oh, i'm sorry he's gonna be on the show tomorrow um the next one we got is oj two murders if you're rich and famous enough you can murder just once well, uh, yeah, but one yeah, because Aaron time. Hernandez was murdering people all over the country. Exactly. Oh, apparently. So you can't. It was the second murder that got Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, they if wouldn't have known about the first, first one. Yeah, they wouldn't have known about it. If you think about it, he murdered two people on that drive-by. Boom, got away with it. It was that next murder that got him, dude. You've got to be happy with your murder and then move on with your life. When, we'll get you. We'll get you squared away, we'll buddy. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We got a guy. Yo, dude, I'm over the guy. look on I'm his face, fantasizing. Look, like, can we go a little deeper into like how we're gonna fucking do it? Like, I know. I it's, like thinking of that shit. It's crazy. So do I. Well, what we'll do is an L-shaped ambush on the poacher. So we'll we'll why yes. we're not we're not gonna get into this. No, Let's we can. You're so, military. You've killed a bunch of people. Tell them how you would do it if you were gonna kill the poachers. Okay, so this is an audio show, but I'm setting up an L-shaped ambush. It's, here. it's video as well. I know. Dan? I'm just saying, Anthony, tell them how you would kill. Just them. relax. So <laughs> this is our this is our game. This is what they're going after. Right. And we'll set up on where we think the poacher is gonna be in an L-shaped ambush. Right. So we'll have people here and here. And, and an L shape. Yeah. This is why it's called that. I'm with it. We wait I'm for this guy you. to approach the target. Once he gets in range, these guys set off some kind of uh, explosion behind him. Yes. Which makes him advance on the target into our what we call a kill box, right? Yeah. And then these guys start dumping rounds on him, and these guys start dumping rounds on him, and he dies. Yeah. He just dies. He it's or a, she. I didn't mean to be fucking he sexist. She, he I'm sorry. Want to be sexist. If the poacher's a woman, we'll kill that yeah, bitch too. I'm just saying. You I, don't want I don't think you got to do all of that for one pirate. No, no, no. I but mean, but I, we, don't, I, we don't have to. We fucking you, you want, want to. to. Would you, you stop? To. God it's, damn. It's I was animals. just thinking. This guy's throwing cold animals. water on everything I, we're trying to do. I'm just trying to murder people. I like fell asleep at this sleepover first. I apologize. I apologize. All right. You know what? It's all in the name of the reservation. Okay? We're trying to help. We're trying to help save the endangered animals. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it we're is. We're conservationists. It's not because I'm like sick it. and I want to hurt. Yeah. That's are, what it is. You guys are heroes. We need to balance. Heroes. We need to balance things back out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck it, L shape. Yes. I'm, you know, we I just wanna, got. I want to stock somebody. We I got. Wanna, we got. We got J- Jimmy I Hills. Feel, I want to feel the life leave with my bare hands. Yes, oh, that's exactly know? what I want. Okay, well here's what we'll do then. No, I'll shoot the guy. 
so hip below. He'll be bleeding now, but you can go up and choke him out and finish him. How about I'm with that? that? All right, I'm with yeah. that. Kind of help just. And you're watching. What's my role in all this? You watch. You train. Okay. You've got to train to murder. Yeah. You can't just show up and murder. You've got to have a good oh, yeah. trainer to okay. murder. So like right, right now, I don't feel like I'm in murder shape. So what I would do is I would roll into on it and be like, "Hey, man." Think about murder and dog. Got Can you. you help me out? And you'd be like, dude. My first question would be, um, how long do we have before the murder is going to take exactly. place? I would say six weeks. All six right. weeks. That's, that's enough time. All right. How often can you come in? Every day. I mean, I can come if in. If you're going to go murder, you come in every fucking day. Yeah, so every but fucking you, day. You yeah. might say, hey, you need only four or five days. Like, dude, if you start training extra, yeah. you might pull something when exactly. you murder. You got to recover. Your body's not conditioned you to need murder. To recover. Well, you're the right, expert yeah. there, so you yeah. tell us how many Listen, days. Listen, recovery is just as important as actual training. If you're going to murder, <laughs> I need you to be tip top shape, ready to go. You're not gonna go out there saying you train with me and then fuck up the L shape murder. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like the word, I like the phrase L shape murder. By yeah. the way, that's great. That's not Big something I've ever of heard of. Murder. I feel like uh, Ro- I feel like Rogan would be into this because he's a conservationist hunter as well. He'd probably go kill some fucking Zimbabwe. And uh, uh, poachers with I, I us. See I would actually yeah. be interested in what he would have to say about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We look, we gotta get off of murder for just a moment. Yeah. How long have you guys been working together? Oh, shit, a little bit over a year now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No Coming shit. Up on a year and a half. No. Nice. Yeah. How how is the training different? Like when you're preparing a free agent versus somebody who's in season, yeah. how is that training different? Well, see, with, with like, man, that's a great question. Uh free agent training is like at any moment you can get the call. Yeah. So you're really trying to really like uh, regulate just how sore he will be going into the trading. You kind of have to treat it like he's actually, it probably isn't that much different, right? Uh, I mean, with an in-season athlete, I mean, we we have a return date. Right. We know OTAs, mini camp, next game, something. If you're there during your bye week, we know the period of time that you're here. That time is ultimately going to be where we start building out the program Mm -hmm. from. Like, what was the first question I asked you? How long before your murder? Exactly. If I ask him how long before they sign you, that's a big ass question mark. It is, yeah. So that it gets a little tricky in that instance. Um, good thing is we all I got like an open communication deal. So every all the information he gets from an agent, he shares with me. So he knows when he'll possibly have a workout coming up. So then we can kind of alter the training throughout, and we just kind of just really go with the flow as you was, as you kind of would with training, but understanding that at any moment he can he can leave. But he's training. Like a guy in his position, his position would be training for a workout. Sure. So he has to go do this workout. He has to go like prove that he's in the type of football condition that that he needs to be. Yeah. In yeah, yeah. To, uh, Can you run us through what that workout looks like? Uh, you know, well, go with your. It's Monday. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. talk. first Monday when uh, you first walk in the door. Uh, I mean, I, I'm the type of guy that has to set the mood. So when I come in, what he's talking about is when I do set the mood, I'm fucking screaming Let's hear at it. the top. Of, it's Monday. I'm coming through the door, fucking kicking that bitch down and I'm ready to go. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know Jay Hill's about to fucking test my gag reflex. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm ready to fucking work. No homo. Yeah. I'm ready to fucking work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. This is like some fucking, uh, some ski shit that he's got me on. And right. it has to do ski with rig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ski rig. I got him on there. We do a lot fucking of metabolic conditioning. Machines. Yeah. I try to save his legs as much as I can, but still keep him in the cardiovascular shape that he needs to be in in order to perform. So it's that's the new shit, man. Oh yeah, running is for fucking children. We'll run. We're we're too old to run at this point. Like you run in sprints, right? Don't don't run long distance anymore. Unless unless you unless you run long distance and that's what you do, don't fucking do that shit, right? You're right. You're 100 percent right on that. So. When he comes in, he he already knows, man. Like uh, his Monday, his Mondays were usually, uh, I would say, repetitive effort, vertical and horizontal push pull days. Okay, with upper body, and then we'll pair that obviously lower body on a Tuesday. Come back with a, a really active recovery on a Wednesday, and then try to get his body back at tip top shape. Friday, we I'd like to get him to move around on Thursday some with multi directional speed, and then Friday linear speed and change of direction as well. So, so so let's say he gets a call. Yeah. Hey, you've got a you got an audition on Monday. Is that's what that's what we it's, call it in Hollywood? It's not an audition. Yeah, man. in Hollywood it's audition. Yeah, right. you should get used to that language since you're going to be uh, on the next. Game I'm with. That's what I'm here. saying. Yeah. Man, you I'm got with, audition. I know, I know it's a tryout, but yeah. like it, it, it's it's in a Hollywood. It's it's an audition. It's yeah. like, hey man, you've got to show up on Monday. What do you tell him as a trainer? Like, hey man, all right, great. We got three days to prepare. Yeah. What do you do between that? Like, because it, it's fast, right? Because like it, injuries happen all the time, and then right. you get calls like, "Hey, can you yeah. be in this city? Right. In this city? In this city? Doing it? Right. Has that happened to you? And then what's it like? 
Yeah, it really is just, you know, they'll call you up and you have literally 20, 30 minutes to respond and say, yeah, I'll be in that city. And they'll usually have a flight for you the next morning. It's crazy, right? And if not, they'll have a flight for you within three hours for you to be out there that night to work out the next morning. And they don't care if you're in at two, three, four o'clock in the morning. They'll have you working out at like nine or 10 o'clock the next morning, depending on how long it takes for you to end up like meeting with the athletic trainer and going through your physical and everything to make sure that they sign off on all the uh, paperwork that says you're capable of, you know, the orthopedic and everything like that to make sure that you're capable of actually going through the work. That's a whole other shit show I don't even think about. Like, no. I, I think about you going to try out. They're like, oh, yeah, you're good. Let's fucking do this. No. But you got to go through the whole fucking bullshit. Yeah. No, I, I have to have doctors poke and prod at everything. And yeah, they got to test you for polio and, and everything, oh, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, polio is still big, right? Uh, uh, you know, I haven't heard of that l- I lately. I remember FDR having it, and I feel like it's that still was big. That was the 1930s. Yeah, but he was Ross. a president of the United States, and he should be respected. We should still test for Ross, polio. Ross, that was, that was 90 <laughs> years ago. But he, 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 look, he, saw, he got us out of the Great Depression. I feel like they should still test for polio. Jeremy, can you put in a word with somebody on it? Um, is there a polio? Like, Aubrey Marcus should have some polio thing. Well, we need um, a program just in that. case it comes we back. We'll... Still worried we'll about talk it. About it's it a, a mental thing. I'm still worried Tuesday about it. Tuesday at noon when we have our meetings, yeah. I'll bring it up. We'll, yeah. have, we'll have Evan call him on Monday prior to the <laughs> Tuesday a, at noon meeting to talk about I polio specifically. Just a nice yeah. polio sitch no where we can all meet together and take a pill. Uh, uh, I just need a pill. <laughs> all right. We, we, just, just, we need to make sure yeah. there's just protocol for that. I take those, those uh, brain enhancers. The alpha brain. Alpha brain, yeah. yeah. But I'd, I'd really like to throw a, <laughs> a polio alpha pill. Alpha brain, is this for like... I'd like to pop a little polio pill to kick shit off too. So <laughs> is this for me. like mental elasticity? What is it? it yes. Yeah, so oh, it's yeah. It's memory. the best. Yeah, man. It's the fucking best. I write on it. Because what I usually do is... I usually do mushrooms and peyote. And that's okay. real, by the way. Okay. Seriously? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm actually... What about ayahuasca? Just so, Wait, yeah, so, so he trips for... He, he did acid for one entire year. What, yeah, 2004, 2004, yeah. Every single day yeah. in 2004 for an entire year. But let's let's move past that. This We're in the present let's now. Not. Yeah. Let's not. Yeah. Let's sit in the driver's seat and, un, un, well, and reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> is that Missy Elliott almost? It is. It's close, I right? So, yeah. 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 So uh, I'm going to an ayahuasca summit in Peru oh. in May, actually. That'd be For amazing. a week. I'm just going to yeah, be... I'm interested. You, yeah, I could I, probably I, get I'm you there. not going. So, I just want to know about your experience. Oh yeah, do let's it? do a show about no, it. After. Don't I feel yeah, like okay. that's Rogan's thing. I don't. I don't does feel like we should lean in and be like, so does the yeah. vomiting? You, you look like you work out hard. Do you do DMT? No, like right, I, right, I've, right. I've done. Uh, I've I've done acid like over seven hundred times. So I don't. And you don't feel like there's any kind of like residual? I don't that's care. What I was yeah, thinking you know, that's like, literally. I don't what care because I mean. I, when I when you talk about ayahuasca, I've heard that like a lot of people are turned off by it because usually you have to vomit in order to really like. You, well, yeah, vomit, you within, take a within shit. thirty yeah. to forty five yeah. minutes, you start having some gastric distress for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, because it's very potent and it's a poison. I think it'd be a great training technique. Throw no. a little ayahuasca, <laughs> have them throw up, and then shit, and, and then, then get on the ski. Congratulations! Yeah, yeah, you're you're on the right. You're on the ski rig. We call it sudden Give change. Me four minutes. I like yeah, it. Three thousand calories. Yeah, burn. let's let's really light it and up. I just here. scream at them the yeah. whole time. Stop being a bitch. Yeah. yeah. So how old are you right now? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. I'll be Thirty-two in May. So, so what, what do they tell you as far as like, hey, do you think you'll get another contract? Uh, I like to believe so, but. It doesn't look that way. Really? <laughs> most of the time, uh, in my situation, especially because uh, I'm mostly a special teams player, um, you guys notice there's a lot of rule changes and stuff around the special right. teams phase of the game. So It uh, sucks. It's for fucking pussies now. Yeah. Right. P- pillow fights. Yeah. I mean, well, they're, they're worried. They're, like they're a, lo- a of lot of 245-pound some... men running really fast and smashing people. I understand yeah. it because something like 38% of all injuries happening on happen Happen on special teams. Yeah, they right. say it's, like it's a like huge like amount. Concussions and yeah. stuff. They're worried it's about. It's a huge that. amount. I get so. it, but fucking, it's fucking football, bro. I know. But that's, that's a, a that's a tough. What you just said right there is like an ongoing argument that'll probably never end. It, it'll it'll never like, end. No. no. How do you because it's a you product, protect man, Right. I mean, you're talking about if football. you think about it. Yeah. If you if it was a CPG, a consumer package good, mm-hmm. which you're familiar with. Mm-hmm. If if you were talking about thirty eight percent breakage in your company, you'd be trying to figure out a way to fix that for sure. Quick, very quick. You'd do anything. The supply of p- new players isn't yeah. 
a problem. That's, that will never be a problem. No. Ever. You're right. Like, but no offense, money. but, but, this is but yeah, all no. of you guys are expendable in some way or Agreed. another. Of course. But just like, and I was in the military, we're all expendable too. Right. There's, there's one thing. Up. Yeah, there's it's one thing you got to think about, though. Like, what is more present now than it ever was before? Dance. A voice. Okay. To the to short. <laughs> yep. No dancer or participation award. A voice. Award, either a, way. voice Bullshit. Yep. a voice to anybody who has fingers and can yeah. type on a keyboard. It's a fucking internet. So you f- I feel how like much you pressure go will forever be going on as far as like <laughs> these players, these concussions, CTE, everything that goes on with the game? It's like, hey, if this was the early two thousands, late nineties, then yeah, I don't think sure. there'll be a rule change at all, even no. with that knowledge yeah. being right. right. But yeah, but even, even then. The problem is that the NFL didn't take care of the players. Right. That's the problem. If they, right. if they had said, you know what, we we understand that you guys are getting fucked up. We're going to take care of you afterwards. It would have been fine. Nobody would have said shit. Yeah. But they wanted to be a bunch of bitches, oh, frankly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Roger Goodell's an asshole. Agreed. I yeah, think yeah, everybody yeah. agrees with that. Oh, yeah. That guy, I, he's he, he's mismanaged that, that league so fucking p- badly. Well, it's, you can it's, ask the New Orleans Saints what they feel about Roger Goodell. I was Goodell, just about but, to say that. I mean, yeah, after, Jesus I, Christ. He, he he, I mean, when did the game happen? When was the NFC Championship uh, play? Two weeks ago? A week and a half ago. Yeah, a and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. He waited till yesterday. He yeah. made his first statement on it yesterday. And yeah. It was something along the he lines really of like we're shit. all human or yeah. some bullshit like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. You waited to a week we're and a half human, to say though, we're all human. We have we have machines watching that shit that we right. can replay in New York. That's the whole fucking and he point makes of the 30 replay million system, dollars right? a year. Like can, yeah. hey, you're not human anymore. Like right, you right. can go back and correct this call if you want. Or you can if fucking you murder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I feel How like to burn Roger Goodell. Oh boy. Oh man. Can we say that on Are we allowed to? Is that like I did not say So here's what you need. From for, criminal no, West camera, yeah. for criminal I conspiracy, you need one or more people. That. You need two or more people. I'm oh, sorry. just referencing his, yeah, long, yeah. his long money. You need two uh, or more people discussing an illegal act, okay. and then you need an implicit act on top of that. So we would say, hey, we should kill Roger Goodell, and then the next thing would happen was somebody d- sets something in you motion. Bet. That's when it becomes a crime. So right now, I just think somebody should probably do it. What Bring, happens for the guy, what happens I'm sorry. For the guy that's Brainberg like... Brainberg v. Ohio yes. protects me. From saying that, yeah, so yeah, yeah. fuck you, exactly. Roger well, Goodell. I'll you piece say of this shit. then to go on his point. I'll do reverse cowboy with Roger Goodell and then murder him. That's what we're doing, right? That's the whole. I can't. I'll, so I'll go reverse cowboy on him, like Can but you he'll tell be on me? top of me, and then I'll so do reverse that on cowboy him. is like reverse cowgirl, but there's two dudes. Whatever, dude. I'm fucking Roger Goodell, and then I'm gonna fucking murder him. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> so like, I don't. I want to be on record of no, saying I, mean, I hope good. Roger Goodell lives a long, healthy life. The organization on it this is like, has co-signed on to the fact that you're gonna fuck and then murder Roger Goodell. I'm saying I'm say going reverse lot. cowboy. Like he's on. Like I don't want to see him. Josh, this is for the video show. I don't want to see his eyes look at me. But like he's facing the wall. But I'm definitely fucking him. Like oh, it's a you're reverse you're cowboy giving. stitch, and then I murder. That's you're some, giving. That's some, that's some Game of Thrones no, shit. No, but it's right there. I don't because I don't want to see that Sheesh. that whole thing. But I want the dominance to be known of like, hey, I'm dominating you. Let me ask and you then, this. Yeah, would you if you could if you had a time machine, would you rape Hitler? No, I would go back to 1985 with Michael J. Fox. I really would. before the shakes. I really yeah. would before before he had Parkinson's, and then then we would have a nice game of. Uh, you know, just a catch together because he can't do that now. That's terrible. <laughs> That's the worst fun. shit I've said all day. Um, Here's nah. the problem when we're drinking uh, Lenslinger's whiskey, which I, is in every store I, available. I, I did not laugh at that. Oh, shit. Now. It's terrible. I that did was, not <laughs> laugh at yeah, that. No, you didn't. Nope. I didn't laugh at that either. We're I'm laughing hard at it. I don't we're give living a fuck. in a different age right now. Listen, I didn't even say that right now. Okay. I've watched enough Michael J. Fox over the last 10 years to know he would laugh his ass off at that joke. I think he would. Of course he would. I think he would. Um, it's if- amazing. <laughs> Rouse. <laughs> this is what it feels like to make an entire room uncomfortable, by the way. Can you, oh, stop can you, right can there. you go this way? I have, I have never, <laughs> I've never been more comfortable in my life. In my life. You've been in a Michael J. Fox hole. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I mean, God, I can really just keep spinning this off. I'm not a big fan night. of puns. That's my problem. No, you're not. You're the not joke a, you're is not good, a pun guy. but puns. No, no, you're not, you're, not a, you're not a pun guy at all. So what's the next step for you two? Like you're here Super Bowl weekend. Yeah. Do you actually go and talk to other owners, players, and say, hey, man, my guy's available. He's training. He's in shape. He's fucking dope. Like, let's go. That's not my job. And it's not. That's the sports that agent. But you talk to his agent? agent? That is the agent. Well, that is the agent's job. I'm here supporting. We got a couple of guys playing. We got guys on both sides. So it's like we're doing that. Then we got a couple of things going, you know, with on it, of course, business wise that we're here for. Then I love ball. So I'm here to, you know, and what other place that you can get a chance to see 
a lot of guys that you haven't got a chance to see throughout the year other than the Super Bowl. So, you know, we kind of do that. But pitching your guys to, you know, coaches or whoever else, that's the agent's job. Definitely. Yeah, I try, yeah, I try yeah. to stay out of that side because then it's like, let's say both of you guys are agents. Yes. And then – you get word that I'm pitching his guys yeah. instead of your guys. You don't want to send your guys to my play. It, it's it's just, a dirty business. Yeah. Cause like for me, I would ask you one thing. I'd be like, dude, how, how fast is your, your client? How quick is he? Yeah. Is he like Michael J. Fox holding wind chimes? Fuck. Stop dude. Stop it. I want to know that he can shake and bake like that. Ricky Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> You can't I, laugh, I, and I, I don't want I you to laugh whatsoever. I just that. want to know that he can shake, oh, shake and move real fast. He is good at football. <laughs> he is good at football. Stop saying. Shit. Are you telling me you haven't had uh, uh, like a coach, defensive line coach, come to you and say, "Hey, off the record, for sh- no shit, is this guy good or what?" Yes. Yes, you that. have. I, yes. I fucking knew it. Yes, dude. coaches. I mean, they want to know. It's, you know, like, of course they do. What do you say? Are so, you ever honest? Yeah, you have to be honest. Have you ever right? said, "No, this guy's a bag of shit"? I'll say I'd that. rather have Anne Frank in I'm, the backfield. I'm, I'm, I'm honest, just because <laughs> hiding with a fucking hiding in a closet with a whole plate of dishes. <laughs> this is what this is what you got to know. I spent. I spent. <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just saying. We were like, Yo, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. How does it always go back to Anne Frank? He's a comedian, so I'm laughing. <laughs> it never goes back to Anne Completely Frank. unacceptable. It's not acceptable. But I am not what laughing at you. It's just good in tight spaces. That's, funny. that's what you have to do on the oh, line. I know you don't. That's on the record. But um, What do you say? Have you ever said no to a no, coach? No, this is what I, I, I see these guys the most. I mean, over the course of an offseason. I see them from January through early may then i see him again june through august when they leave for good so if i'm asked that question you got to remember that those relationships go over the course of my career uh, d-line coaches all yeah, exactly, they yeah. stay there what did you say earlier Play, well, if, players, yeah. players players yeah. are in and out they, players are in and out i mean if you if you bullshit some guy they'll yeah. never believe you again and that's why i don't bullshit them but i try to speak to the player's strength no matter what because i've all i built the company off of being player first yeah. I don't cater to agents. I don't cater to parents. I don't cater to coaches. I don't cater to representation. Without the players, they're a sport. So no, no, no you're I'm, the product guy. No, that's the right, guy. We're the cattle. So yeah. I, I'll speak. I, I'll workhorses. make sure to just direct the conversation towards a player's strength versus like, yeah, that motherfucker can't turn left. You know what I mean? Whatever it may be. It's like, shit, no. We're, so that just means keep them on the fucking right. right. Exactly. There, there yeah. we go. There we go. I, I, you know, we'll let them know. So. That's what we try to do. That's what we try to do. Because I mean, fuck, bro, it's a dirty business. It is, isn't it? it all is. the way around. It, I mean, all the way around in every aspect the of around. the business, where it's just like, hey, performance, yeah. win championships. That's it. We'll pay you the most amount of money. Yeah. The rest of you can get fucked by a dumpster at Carabas. Yes, like, that's what it is. Where it's just like, all right, cool. People don't even understand that. It's like if you can find a, um, a, 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 a agent with that has some type of morals, great. Good luck. Keep that guy. Keep that guy's number in your phone. Just yeah. because I've seen this all the time. I mean, he's been around the block, so it's, it's no surprise to him. Good agent you, or bad agent out of you? Uh, would I be a good yeah, agent? No, no, no. Have you had good agents or bad agents? Uh, I've had both. Yeah, definitely. Because oh, yeah. in Hollywood's the same way. Right. They're all fucking dirtbags. Right. I can say nine times out of ten, my agent's been shit. Perfect. And that's just like, hey, it's the same thing. Yeah. Let yeah. me ask you this: as a player, some guy, your agent says, "Yeah, he can runs a runs a four eight forty. Like that's shit. Yeah, first that's. Of all. I, I, know is, yeah. it's fucking, yeah. I know it's that shit. I know it's shit. And Frank numbers. Like he's, he's, I'm just saying. he's an offensive lineman no. that's I'm just, 270 I'm just saying pounds. or more. Round numbers. Let's go. Okay. Stay with me here. Like, let's say you run a five and he says you run a four eight. That fucks you when you get there, right? Like if he, if Most he, definitely. If he because over, you're more than likely going to run a five two. Yeah. If yeah. he over represents yeah. you, then you get there and you're fucked. That's his right? job, though. You yeah. got to know. I mean, that's yeah, a part that's, of, that's, that's a part of that's the That's being bad at your job. If I'm, a, yeah. if I'm a fucking marketing guy, right, which yeah. is what I am, and I go out to an agency and tell them that I can do X, Y, and Z and I can't do that shit, then yeah. I get three to six months into a contract and I'm fucked. But you got to think about it. Like, think about it. Like we just talked about, these agents are dirty. Yeah. So what are they gonna do? If I'm if I represent Brian, he doesn't know what the fuck I said to get him that, that workout with Not the Vikings. All. all he know is he got the workout with the Vikings. So if he goes there and he doesn't know behind the scenes, I told him he was gonna run that four eight and he ran his typical five flat and then he's like, Yo, they didn't sign me. Well, I can now the blame's off me. Yeah. Brian, I got yeah, you the workout. 100%. I can't play the sport for you. Yeah, but you're a shit bag guy. Yeah. That's yeah. 
what majority that's what I'm saying. of that I don't know is no different though because I'm not going to hear that from the front office and the coaches that didn't sign me and he's not he's not going to tell me exactly. not at all are you a five flat by the way hell no Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> when I tested coming out in 2011 I was obviously a lot younger yeah uh, I ran a four four seven at 247 that's, pounds that's, that's cool that's quick I, that's, I, that's I, I ran a four three I don't want to brag but whatever um <laughs> I, I'm that type of dude. No. Like, I, look, I'm built like Trump's wall that he hopes for. I don't want to. Again, I, it's were, not about me. It's not about me bragging. Before the show, you were with the Texans. You saw JJ Watt. JJ Watt hits me up for tips of like, yo, how do I get the bias? Tries, right. tries, tries it for the guys. Obviously. None of this right? is throws it for the girls, and this, he wants to know how do you get this definition. I'm like, dude, it's Webster's Dictionary. It, none of don't this is true. Don't fucking come at me, JJ. This is true. Like, JJ yeah. Watt eats nine chicken breasts and like five avocados a day. This piece of shit. Maybe he does eats Taco Bell. Yeah, maybe him. does. Oh, you still eating Taco Bell? No, bro? not at all, dude. I'll go to I'll go to BK, okay. get a double, and then strip off that bread, dude, and get that protein in, brother. <laughs> a lot of cheddar, though. Throw some extra cheddar on there, just for these guys. You know, okay. it's all about look. It's the traps with me. You're playing you know at the traps. I noticed that. It's, yeah. all, it's yeah. always traps for me. He's been you know? doing that all night. I know. Yes. I know. He, he really loves his traps. Look, yeah. everybody's got to hang their coat on something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I walk into a party, it's like put your coat on this. Go ahead. Yeah, lean on me. I'll right. be your friend. I like it. I'll I like, never. I like your yeah. style, man. I'll hand out I'm a coat tickets. I'm a foodie. Are I'm you, a foodie, dude. I'm a. I'm have a you heard chef. of the McGangbang? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I do fuck the yeah. double McGangbang. It's two. Tell add chicken. Ma- add Mac sauce. Okay. Ex- explain it. At McDonald's, you you, the you McG- eat at McDonald's. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Stop. You're going telling your it, fucking man. trainer that you eat at McDonald's. You're professional athlete. What the fuck? So this is how Can you I, see the hurt on his myself. face right now? Can you this see that? This is how I treat myself. I mean, everybody's entitled to a double meat gangbang every once in a while. Never I mean, had one. Just add the mac and you're, and you're good to go. But yeah. yeah. You, you, you got the double quarter pounder with cheese. Some people like the, the Big Mac. Blessed. Then you order, then you order the, the McChicken. But Way what, up. But I feel what blessed. you do is you, you have to add the mac sauce and then you split open. You got to bust it wide open. And then you take the McChicken and slap that on there. And that's called the fucking McGangbang. Shaba. That that's the fucking fire. McGangbang, brother. That shit just made my stomach hurt. Congratulations. Fire. You're at the end of the line then of that Congra- McGangbang. I don't that's the want- best meal you could ever have. I, you know what I've done recently? Life. Because now they're offering breakfast 24 hours a day. You're eating breakfast then? You got to oh, add, oh, you gotta add the fucking egg with oh, it. Yes. <laughs> This Throw guy. some egg on there. You know Sprinkler. what I love? Salt bay it. I feel like, bay I feel like I'm there. a relationship counselor right now. And I, too. I just told mediation? a yeah. wife we, that her husband has mediation. been gambling on sports. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how I feel He beats right me, now. but I love him. He I, beats me. Uh, what? Yeah. Hey, First thing he hey, says when I when I walk in is like, hey, man, you're looking good. I'm like, no, nah, yeah. I'm kind of small right now. He's like, no, nah, man, you're looking solid. He he wants to take that back so bad. Oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. you yeah. just told your fucking... Not that I look closer. You tell I look closer. You are looking kind of soft. I see... You are looking kind of That's soft. the McGang no, bang right there. there. Never some, forget, never come forget. on. There's some fucking guns <laughs> here. Hashtag come on. never forget. You, but this is your lady, right? Yes, it She's is. She's jacked as well. Like she, you, Both of you guys are in the best shape of your, your adult lives, and it's amazing. I, yeah, would no, never, sure. I would never say you guys have McDonald's all the time. Does she have McDonald's? Do you have McDonald's? They're secrets. They're secrets. We have oh McDonald's. man, I love she, it. I like how she's she's secrets. she's supporting you. I like you that. You have to. You if just, you and your wife can't have secrets. You have you do you have secrets? Are you dating anybody? Who? What's your story? Uh, no secrets. No secrets. I just I work all day. That's, that's it. All, that's it. No lady. She's no. I just work all. I'm married to the game. No eating. I work all day. You go to day. Kettlebell Kitchen. I started Kettlebell Kitchen. What is Kettlebell it? Kitchen? It's a meal prep it's, service. It's, it's, it's good. It's a lot of keto. Oh, okay. you know? yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I mean, you guys been on it. I, yeah, majority of like, look, you, right you, now. You, you would, you would be what surprised. Ketosis? I don't know if it does. Oh, fucking the meal prep shit. No, I, I don't think it fucking works. Like the snack kitchen. There's not enough food. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what like, do you think? They use mm. way too much fucking seasoning. It depends on who you go who to. You have, you're, yeah, who do you you're, 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 what are you? You said you're two forty five. Meal prep from yeah. on it was, was right. You said you're two forty five, right? Well, I got chef two twenty five. I can't. I, I get. I go to kettlebell. And I have to eat like three other times in addition to the bullshit right. they get hey, every day. So, so what, what's your jam there? So this is what we do. Um, so you know we're partners with Exos. So yeah. Exos is like the leader of nutrition in our field, like performance, sports performance. So we go through Shannon Einhart, yeah. who's a certified dietitian. Yeah, yeah. She's been in the game over 15 years now. Yeah. She's worked she, for a, right. a lot of places. She, exactly. Yeah. She coordinates everything that goes into every meal. And then we hire a chef to basically make it like... A, B, C, one, two, three, follow these steps, make it taste good. Yeah. That way, 
That was great. Yeah, he gets great. everything he needs. I was telling her, like, yo, I need 5,000 calories. And yeah, we can no make shit, it happen. Right? Jesus Christ. Do you really? Yeah, no, he's really. If you're, if he's you're working a 5,000 calories. If you're working out next to Michael Phelps. If yeah. you're working out two to three hours a day, you got to yeah. have, like, I eat 3,500, and I'm only working out an hour a day. Right, Like, same. somebody like you, you're fucking. Same. So they, they Man. like, when you're at the professional level, they'll do tests on you and stuff like your metabolic rate. And yeah, like right. That. Really? When yep. I can burn a pound and a half a day just sitting on the fucking couch. Oh, yeah, big time, yeah. Like, Just because of your metabolism, yeah. Changing the channel. Now I'm burning fucking two pounds. Damn, dude. Damn. Yeah, it's funny. I was That's at, how he uh, convinced himself that he's working out. Hell on yeah. Day, not doing shit. No, it, <laughs> yep. it is what it is. You're going I mean, a lifetime, dude, watching those movies where you're like, fuck. I, want, I wonder why the cop killed his wife. What do you wife? like on A&E? Uh, shit, you put me on the spot. I did put you on the spot. It's Breaking a fucking bad. show. Let's go. Come on. What do you go? What do you go on A&E? Like, are you in the storage wars, that type of shit? <laughs> <laughs> It's totally fine. <laughs> Somebody found a Picasso on one and got like two million. I get it. Yeah. I get hooked on weird shit too, man. No, you're so Murder I, Mountain's what I'm on right now. And I shrimp murder we show, could tell. brother. We could tell. I know. Yeah. It's weed that's in what Humboldt it is. County. Like that's how I get down right now. I'm watching you on Netflix. Dude, how is about that? A dude I heard that's pretty good. Take out this girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ends up killing but he's like, friend. oh shit, you just ruined it. With first forty eight. No, no, no. Yeah. You'll knew that in the first... Oh, first 48. I, because I want to know. I mean, I, I told you guys I fucking think about murder all the time. So do I. Exactly. We're back on this shit. Damn it. Give her my number, dude. We, we should be murder brothers. We just we found... We should be murder no. brothers, You should dude. listen to something. Here's what's going to happen. Man. I'm going to take these two guys on their first murder together. Nope. These two. Nope. Not, not yeah. you. Not you. Not you. Not these two. Going. But is these it, two. Is it, I know how that goes. I know how is that it, goes. That's a great question. The three of us go murder somebody. Guess who they blame? Black guy. Oh, oh. Black guy, yeah, yeah. Obviously. I mean, he got a little flavor, so hey, we bring Brian in. My, that is my You do. You did my freestyle incentive. rap earlier. That's my incentive that's, for that's, taking that's, it. Is that why you're trying to cool. invite me? Yeah. I'm well, not coming like, hey, on that murder I with you. do it. Guess who I'm did? Not, yeah. Guess who did? Right. And Pick I'm, a color. I'm sitting there like. Pick a color. Now we're black. looking at the cops. I'm like, Ross, what the fuck? This was your idea. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, no. It's my elbow. It's my elbow. It's my elbow. I know how that goes. I'm pointing to you with my elbow. You know how funny thing is? I have. I'm the veteran with the top secret, current top secret security clearance, and I'm the biggest piece of shit sitting at this See? table right now. Uh, 100%. 100%. 100%. But you're going to get blamed for sure. You're, this you're 1,000. You're yeah, know fucked an knows. alien, dude, with that top secret. They, they have it at Area 51. They don't have aliens. They got it. Tell them. Tell, be, be honest. There's no, alien, there's no aliens. No. Be honest. I don't know. That, that is a no, I'm, that aliens convincing. exist. They just haven't made it here. Statistically, it's unlikely. You're lying for the show. You've seen the alien. You've had sex with it. If, and it's cool. How was, I get it. How me, was me, sex with the alien? Let me just say this. If, if I had met an alien, I would definitely fuck it. Yeah? I wonder, do you think they're advanced enough that they have a fucking USB port to warm it up? That's I think so. a good question. I think they have an extra, uh, I think they have they an extra vagina. If it's organic, then it's going to be warm anyways. Yeah. Uh, hey, look. Since, like yeah. since we're towards the end of the show, it's we're at the Super Bowl. We're all going round table here. Yeah. I want, to, I want a quick score out of each year. Who, who's mm. going to win? Who mm. you got? Because this, this is show that, by the way, the show is airing after the Super Bowl. Okay. So you'll look like an asshole if you miss it. Oh, Who you got? fuck. fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, my heart is with the Rams. Same. I don't want to okay. hear my that. Tell me what the, your fucking brain my money is, with is on this. the Patriots. Give me it. If you had to bet right now, I think it's closer than people think. I think uh, Patriots 38, Rams 34. 38, 34, 38, 34. I like, 34, 34, so you, 34, so you beat the over and you beat the spread. Who What's, you got? Well, hold on. What's the spread right now? Two and a half. Two and a yeah. half. Yeah. Over so under the 58. Shit, the shit started. They, it started at uh at one. Yeah. It started yeah, yeah, yeah. at one New England's way. I it, got well, on there too it's late. Moved, it's fluctuated all That's all Vegas. Board. I know. It's based so on who, how who people you are got? betting. You played against all these guys. I'm fucking terrible at this shit, first of all. I'm sure. I'm a gambling man. Every time I fucking gamble, I lose my money. And I work way too fucking hard for my money. So I don't really gamble very much. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about with the fucking spread and the over-under. They got to win by two and a half points. To win the money. By a field goal. Yeah. Will the Patriots win by a field goal, yes or no? Uh, you know, I'm going to say Patri- Patriots 31, LA 27. There yes, you go. So you would have won. They win. You would have won you if go. you bet on New England. D'Anthony. Yeah. We've already done this. Yeah. You, you've got the Patriots. I've got the Patriots. Yeah. And I hate it's it. It's hard to bet. Here's the problem. I've I don't seen the one. The game it's just hard to bet that. against Brady. Yeah. You can't bet against no, Brady. Exactly. I, here's what I envision. And I said this on our last show. Here's what I envision. That's why he fucking wins all the time. Jared Goff yeah. or Todd Gurley. 
do something to score a touchdown with two minutes left, and uh, then Brady just come, runs before. down the field and fucking. We've seen this I mean, before. Who, yep. Yep. You can't stop that guy. It, I, I the, the worst way. part is the worst part is when you watch team. Even if you look at the um, the AFC Championship la- we were game there. last year. Oh, you at the game last year? The AFC yeah. Championship. No, we, game were last year. Oh, we were there. We were there this year. Uh, I'm we looking at the Chiefs one last year. It was I mean, the same oh, thing. Man, y'all had amazing game. It was the same thing. You look at the one last year, and I'm looking at that game, and I'm like, when teams score. You would think they would be like celebrating, excited. They all look up at the clock and they're like, yeah. "Fuck, we left a minute we, we on saw, the clock." What was it? We, we what left was, a minute it was like on week the clock. Nine, the Chiefs Patriots the first time we oh, that 10, shit was great. Yeah, yeah. And they that was like same great. thing. Forty same forty five game and last of a game. Then, yeah. then we were there at this last one. We saw them score with like what two and a half minutes left, and we yep. looked up the clock. We're like, "Fucking, you Brady's knew it was going to happen this, too." Man. Once they once they run once they run that three by one set and they put Grunk on the backside one on one with anybody and he yeah. has that a two-way fucking go, catch down the left side. It's either slant or fade every time, and Brady just that fade down the left side. Man, it's Gronk, t- you, you, you can't put a cornerback solo on Gronk. You just can't do it. The worst can't. part is they came back in overtime with that same set at the same well, part that of the was, field. And that was a coin toss. Whoever won that coin toss was going to win. Right? I'll take it a step further. The worst part of that was when that confetti came down. Yeah. Tom Brady's TB12. That toilet looked exactly like all that confetti. Because all, <laughs> all they're eating is greens and weird Brazilian shit. Yeah. Like, I don't even want to imagine what him and Giselle's toilet looks like. It's how, like a fucking Jackson How did your mind go? Either there. way, it explodes over the crowd. I don't want to see that again. All I'm saying is this. Uh, my heart and my, my guns are with the Rams. I want to see the fucking Rams win this goddamn there thing. There we go. But my money is on the Patriots. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies. Uh, this was a fucking blast, this dude. This was fun. As always. Jeremy, you're you're a blast to have you, my man. Honestly, I'm married, you're, but I'd go gay for you for yeah, one night. We're gonna, one night, I'd put it in a little a, bit. Here's a couple probably, things. That's weird because you haven't even seen me let my hair down. It's not even that, dude. Three inches. Three good. inches is where it, it starts to get uncomfortable. I'd go three and a half with you because I get it. You've got a, you've got nice oh, facial man. features. So do I. I look young. Yeah. D'Anthony, yeah. Ugh, you look super old, but I love you. <laughs> Your flight was late tonight. Uh, <laughs> stop giving D'Anthony middle seats on South South. Southwest flights, and he can be here on. Time. I actually have a companion pass with him. I fly so much. So. Nice. Do you really? Yes. Yeah. Bring in Frank uh, for Ross <laughs> Patterson. Stop, stop, dude. Why do you do that? Every she's time got, she's got some things to put in overhead. Uh, for Ross Patterson, I, I, Dan Holloway. I did not Brian laugh at that Brian joke. And Jeremy Hills. This is Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. Good night.